it's the Cartier edition. Uh, customer came in, cluster, not working, flashing, flickering on and off. Um, so, what we like to do is remove the cluster. And uh, I've already made the repair of what needed to be done. Uh, but what happened was when he came in, you can see the little screens on each side were flickering off and on, sometimes not even working. Um, and a bunch of other lights flickering as well. Um, seems to be a common issue for these. You turn it on, see how they light up. And you'll see it's also uh, lit up over here with a dimmer switch, which is also what gives it that lighting as well. Uh, creates it to come on. Now, keep in mind when you're removing this cluster, you're going to have to be able to move this shifter. Hit the brake down here. You're going to have to move the shifter to create the room that you're going to need uh, to get this, this this cover off here. All right. These can come off with a, with a 12 millimeter, I mean a 7 millimeter, uh, and a Phillips. And then uh, there's a little cable that drops down. This is for your shifter right here. This is also a pretty small bolt here. Uh, comes out. This hooks onto your actual shifter, which indicates what gear you're in, which is wraps underneath the cluster. So you'll have to take it out with a Phillips screwdriver. The undercut casing on this uh, steering column, uh, which isn't too hard to easily hook back on. Um, just be careful you don't crack it. Now this one came in with previous damage, which I documented, um, but it's pretty simple. So what happened is you unplug everything behind here, as you can see. You reach your hand behind here and you unplug everything. Sometimes a pick or a little screwdriver or stuff like that. Sometimes they come right out with your hands. Makes it a little easier for you, you know. But usually I can pull all these apart. To pull them out. And then go through with one of these tools right here. And this will so you don't cause any damage to pop the clips all the way around. There's no screws over here around the radio. But there's two right up here, which are seven millimeters, as you can see. So when it comes out, there's a couple screws on the back side there. Those are the same size. They're on each side of the cluster there. And as you can see, once you get these screws out on each side of this cluster, and make sure you chalk the wheels too. Or keep your foot on the brake. Or hit the emergency brake before you do any of this because the car will roll um, because you gotta move the shifter. And after you unhook this cable here, this will allow you to pull the cluster out and give you the room that you need to get it out. You know what I mean? You just gotta be careful once, it, once you get it out though. will flip and you see these plugs right here those plugs are right there you want to pull those out and you want to make sure that the connections are good because also too the wiring will rub a hole in it on the back side here which will create a bad connection for you so make sure you inspect all those wirings and what I like to do is take the back casing off and I'm going to show you here in a second of how that works You see these wires right here? I take off the back casing on these and I just make sure that the connections are good on those as well. Which is pretty easy. I don't unplug them, I just make sure the connection's good. But you can see back here where it's plugged in. You want to get yourself some dielectric grease, uh, some electric grease, and put a little layer on there before you plug them back in and that will give you that good connection, that continuity that you need uh, to light this cluster back up. So um, I hope it helps you. And uh, in the future, you know what I mean? Because I didn't see any ads on this, so I hope this helps you with everything that you're trying to do. Okay? And thanks for watching. Give a like. I appreciate it.